hello and welcome everyone to my channel it's me Arjun today I'm gonna demonstrate three different ways to insert CSS in HTML document that is web page for styling as I mentioned on last video we can insert CSS through three different ways inline internal and external let's start with inline CSS I have a sublime text editor open here let me create html file as index.html and save on the desktop and start with basic html tag with title 3 typ types of css as a title let me open that on the browser nothing here except these three types of CSS as a title okay now as the meaning of the word inline we write CSS on the same line of a of a single HTML tag to display a unique style for a single element here as a as one as one tag close inside the s1 tag uh, i'm gonna write iron align inline css we haven't write anything i haven't written anything here it's a basic s1 tag here to apply a unique style for a single element we use inline CSS and style attribute is used to define for the particular element according to our requirement here after the s1 tag we use style attribute and as a value we include the CSS we write the CSS between this code here as a color let's say red and refresh the browser again now the text is in red color it's because of the style sheet and we can write any any number of attribute and value here that is let's say align let's say text align text align center and refresh the browser we have the this heading tag on the center same here we have let's say s1 again and uh, let's say yeah, no, it's another inline CSS and refresh the browser again. Here we have another heading tag and the content, but we can't see the CSS applied here. It's because uh, it is why because if we write inline CSS. As I mentioned before as the meaning of the word inline we write CSS on the same line of a single HTML tag to apply a unique style for a single element it means only for this element it means the style that we write here only applied for this particular element or tag if we want to apply the same we need to write here again if we follow the inline CSS way of writing CSS so this is the inline CSS we can write any number of any number of CSS over here between this code and 
Secondly, we can use CSS as internal CSS. That is the second way of using CSS. Let me show with example here. We have to define a style element. It means it is useful for applying a unique style for single HTML page. With the help of this internal CSS, as I told you before, if we write the CSS through inline, then we can only apply the apply the CSS it means apply a unique style for a single element but to overcome from uh, to overcome from that problem we can use internal CSS which is useful for applying a unique style for single HTML page we have to define a style element uh, between the head tag here and start with a style tag like this and between this style tag we write our CSS code it means let's have again as one tag three ways of using CSS or let's say INTRNL internal CSS. Now to apply the style for this HTML tag, we just mentioned the HTML tag like this. Then write the CSS here as a color, let's say red again, or let's say yellow and save refresh the browser we got the yellow color and what's the benefit using this internal CSS because if we have another as one tag here as um, another internal CSS let's say the same this style can be applied on any number of the element with the help of this single line of code. We got the yellow color on both HTML tag. And where we can We can write any number of HTML selector here, either directly with the ID selector, element selector, or class selector, like um, let's say test. This is the class selector, and let's say color as GRE and green and let's use here in the paragraph tag i am p r e g r e p s paragraph refresh i have the paragraph here and let's use this test we need to include class here this id selector can be called directly but uh, this element selector can be called directly but for the class selector we have to use class attribute and what's the class name test and let's refresh the browser we got the green element here green color here let's say again text align center and refresh the browser you can see the output there and the same thing here too if you have another paragraph I am 
paragraph and can be called again class and the test tst test or you can use id selector as well let's say tst test to color as brow and brown let's say and call the for the id we have to use id here and uh, the name that is test 2 should be brown this one let's refresh the browser this one is brown now we can write any number of selector and this css code here any test one test two like that according to your requirement and the final and most useful way of using css for multiple pages is external css this internal css only useful where where we have only one file it means we can use this line of css code only for this particular page but if you have multiple html page then you have the same line of css code for multiple pages then the external css external css is very useful we have separate dot css extension file as a css and write all our css on that file then can be used with multiple pages let's let's start using external css as well this is the very basic html tag here now let's create another file new file and let's save this as my style style.css the extension extension should be dot css but you can uh, give any any file name and save on the desktop let's save it means on the same location where i have my this html file as well this one is css file this one is html document okay now we can be then this can be this css file can be used with multiple pages to use this css file each html page must include a reference with the help of link element inside the head section head section indicating the css file using href attribute with path and file name i'll show you how here to use this this uh, my style.css css file by this index.html document we need to write link tag and uh, this rel equals style sheet uh, or you can remove this uh, but the href the path and a file name we should mention that here we have css file on the same location so just we call my style stl style.css here and now we write all css code over here let's say h1 that is color is red here and now we can use this here directly h1 i am let's say i am hdng heading and refresh the browser now i have the heading And let's let's create the another file as well to know the benefits having the external CSS uh, for multiple pages for multiple HTML file 
let's save this as um, index dot index two dot html let's say on the desktop and basic tag here i am second html page here as a title and now here let's say h1 i am heading and what we have to do we have just only one my style.css file and it is used by this index.html and also want to use i want to use the same style sheet on this index2.html file same thing just come here link then mention the path here uh, here I don't need to min uh, include the path because my HTML document and CSS is, is on the are on the same location so only the file name my style dot CSS now let's open that file again HTML to this one we got the red heading here and the look at here index.html same thing and index.2.html now what's the benefit the benefit is we have only one css file and we can use any number of html documents and we can change if we include this file to the multiple html page then to alter or and if you need any modification just come on this style.css and change here let's say to hello and save here refresh the browser we got the hello here and again here hello and the another thing is we can include any number of external CSS, CSS too like here I have only one here you can mention any number of CSS to here and can be controlled by single CSS file let's say here text align RIGS to write refresh again here refresh very easy you can write let's say use the class attribute dot my style style color gre and green and i want to use on the index.html here let's say p tag class that is my stl style this my styles that is written here but available here because it's because of this link this link ta tag with the help of this reference it this is it is referencing to this file so we can use easily mm, my stl style should be here yeah. you can easily use the external CSS on the multiple page according to your requirement hope this video is useful for you if you have any question or suggestion then drop on the comment box below I will more than happy to answer the question if you haven't already then please subscribe and do like my channel thank you